Steven, we are here in your game room. I like to call it maybe man cave part two. Okay. <laughs> so what I really love is this game table. What do you think about that piece there? I, I, I can't wait to get to play cards, dominoes, and everything else included with that table. Yes, I mean, allows you the opportunity to really slap those dominoes, create that noise that yes. we really love. You can play cards with the, on the felted top. What I really also love about this table is that you can flip the top and make it a traditional dining area. Okay. So if you want to bring food and beverage up here, you can really utilize that space in the manner that you see fit. And then these reclining seats, okay? Let's talk about relaxation, how you can really use this space to enjoy yourself. Watch the TV, kick back, enjoy the space, um, you know, any way that you like, and then, I have to point out these mink black bar stools. Your thoughts? My thought is, 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 is you exceeded uh, my expectations. I just love the feel of them. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. This is going to be the place to be when Definitely. we gather together. Definitely the place to be. We really try to highlight your existing features in the space, like your black countertop, bringing in some more of those black accents, like the framing and the pictures, the metal work, and then even your dartboard, just like really bringing in, you know, small hints of the black and the decor to really tie this space together. And then these walls, they used to be purple. <laughs> <laughs> right. Blue. Yeah, purple and blue. Do you That's remember right. what that looked like? Yeah. And so we brought it all the way down, making it a nice neutral space. So you can really enjoy just the general features and, you know, kind of focus on the function of the space as opposed right. to, you know, color. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. So we are here in your second guest room. This is your son's room. And so we do know he has autism. And so we wanted to make sure that we provided a space that allows him to thrive in the way that best suits his style. And so what I really love is that we brought in these art pieces that, you know, are really fit for Prince. <laughs> you know, we wanted this space to kind of grow with him where he has the opportunity to sort of flourish and thrive, but also have imagery that allows him to know that he is capable of doing anything. And so yes. that's what I really love about the artwork that we have brought here. And the blues are keeping it nice and calm, you know, plus that little pop of orange, a little pop of color yes. that we brought in here. Right. So what do you think? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that you were thoughtful enough to think about my son in the design of this house, uh, of this room, rather. Uh, I'm just totally impressed. Love the rug. Yes. <laughs> Love the rug. Love the room. I'm, I, from what it was when beforehand, this ugly blue all on the wall, <laughs> yeah. to again transforming this room into a room fit for again for a prince. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? I really wanted to make sure we didn't stray too far from that blue. So we brought in some of those blues, but in a right. nice, subtle way. Correct. So I think this room came out beautifully.